been a tough stretch, five straight losses, but you guys bounced back in a big way tonight, pick up your first road win of the season here at Charlotte. Um, you know, what was the biggest key in coming away with this win, and how good is it just to, you know, be back on the winning side of things? Well, I mean, biggest thing is, is you never quit believing and keep working. It's easy to get punched in the nose and mouth five down, five times and lay down. Uh, but our guys didn't lay down. We're not going to lay down. We got good people, good young men. Um, we came out, you know, defensively. Probably one of the most difficult teams to defend this league. What all they run. Uh, I thought we were as good as we could be. First half in particular. They had 19 points. Uh, but even even the second half, for the most part, we were we were good. And what you got to be able to survive on the road, teams going to make runs at you. I think it got it to 12. It, it went to 12, and we spurted right back up to 18 or 19 in about a minute and a half. And that's what you got to be able to do to answer. You know, every, everybody that played was uh, it was a great team effort. Uh, went small more than we've ever had. It was, it was good for us. We survived the defensive part of it. Late in the game, a little bit offensive rebounds got us a few times, but for the most part. We control the game offensively. Uh, we were very productive. When you go on the road and, and shoot 56% for a game, uh, very efficient three-point line, nine for 18, uh, 16 assists, 13 turnovers. Uh, those are those are winning stats. But I, like I just told my team, I've walked in the locker room. Jerry, you've been with us. But we've lost and disappointed in the outcome of the game, but proud of how hard they played. So I felt the same way tonight. I was just proud of how hard they played. And to do it under some adversity, five tough ones, against a really good Charlotte basketball team. They don't lose here. They lost one game early in the season against a top 25 Davis. They've been beat since. And for the most part, we kind of controlled it from the outset. You, know, you mentioned that defense a little bit. Uh, Jameer Young, probably their best player, um, holding six in the first half, I believe, and below a season average, uh, just 17 in the game. You know, with him specifically, I guess, what was the biggest key in kind of keeping him contained? Well, we just did a better. We did a better job. First off, when you have Davey on him, it gives you a chance right off the bat. Uh, but we did a much better job on any ball screens or any down screens. Our big guys helping. Uh, letting him come off there and catch and shoot. Uh, even though he got 17, still point below his average. Uh, that gives you a chance when he don't get his average. Uh, but we were locked in defensively. Uh, you know, they, they made six threes for the game. Very good shooting team. A couple of those came late. Um, you know, jumping back to the beginning of the game, uh, Jarius had, I believe, seven of his nine points in the game uh, by the first media timeout. Um, you know, You're really? I believe so. Um, you know, to see that type of, you know, start from him, back home for him, um, you know, how good was that to see and how important was that for you guys to set the tone in this room like that? Well, anytime you go on the road, you get off to a good start, I mean, that's two, four minutes, you need to win on the road as much as you can. First four minutes, first half, first four minutes, second half. We didn't win the first four minutes, but we won the fifth and sixth minutes. It, it went from 24 down the hurry, went right back to 21. Um, you know, anytime a young man come back home, be successful from his from his people, that's always great. And, uh, he played a lot of minutes, he played hard. I thought Josh, everybody was really good. Cam and Luke, Luke had it going. Uh, Cam was good. I thought Josh Anderson, both ends of the court, was not as good as he's been especially at the early second half there for him. Um, you know, you going back to the second half, you lose uh, Jamar with his fourth foul just over three minutes into the second half. Um, you know, Cam said you guys had been working on coming that smaller rotation, you know, earlier this week and kind of forced to go with it second half most of the way. You know, what do you, um, what did you see that you liked from that rotation? And, um, you know, what do you still want to work on with the guys? Well, you know, one thing, we worked on it in the game tonight. And when you, when you have success with something, our guys know this, uh, that court spread a little bit more now. 
uh, helps everybody out. You drive the ball easier. You gotta help off those shooters a little bit now. Uh, opens up the lane a little bit for Davey. We saw late, we got him on some post ups late in that lane. He went to, he went to work there about three trips in a row. Uh, you know, Jamar sometimes, you know, uh, people backed off of him some, makes it a little more difficult. But Jamar was really good defensively early in that game. You know, big boy tried to score three or four times, he blocked those shots. So, so it was good, we, we can play big, playing small, Definitely gives us a different look for sure. Um, you know, like you said, I wasn't there yesterday to talk to you guys, but I had like seven or eight hours in the car to go back and watch the video and listen to you. It sounded like you wanted to, um, you know, find a way to get more depth off the bench, and it seemed like that way with um, getting Sherman there earlier in the game a little bit. Was that kind of the, the plan, or how much? Uh, was it was that the a, plan. Yeah. You know, it was a plan for sure to get him in. He played, you know, at least he played, played seven minutes. So those are seven minutes that we haven't been able to get uh, anybody. Uh, so that was good. You know, he added to tonight. Didn't hurt us. And, you know, the more he can play a little bit, uh, playing small helps him. Because it gives, gives another skilled guy out there with him. Um, so it was big. Um, you know, in terms of finding the right rotations and whatnot, especially if Jamar is not in there, um, Butts, I don't believe, played tonight. Can you see more of like a small ball rotation if Jamar's not in there or trying to get butts in uh, worked in or I guess how do you no, see I don't, that playing out? Yeah I see us playing sliding down playing like we played there and, you know we played we played small ball in that 15 minute mark and that five minute mark at home and came back to kick to cam fouled out. Right. We were better off this week. Uh, the question was could we rebound the basketball and defend well enough. Tonight we was able to survive that. Offensively it makes us better no question about that. And looking ahead to Saturday now, um, trying to win back-to-back -back games on the road. What's it going to take to go up to uh, Norfolk and get a win? Well, totally different kind of team. You're going to play play two big bruisers in there around that rim. Uh, they're going to try to beat you up in the half court around that rim. Uh, you know, they're going to they're going to guard you with toughness. Uh, but you know, our guys came out of this one uh, feeling pretty good about themselves. Now it's been a while since we've felt good about ourselves. And particularly on the road, we've had three losses on the road that all of them under a minute we were leading it. So this was the first one we was able to put away. And that's always good. Nothing, there's nothing more special than winning on the road.